How ugly is the debt vector right now? Excuse me, the deficit vector. How ugly is that trajectory if we've got Mr. Cudlow's growthiness? Well, we, even the uh, Treasury and OMB in the report they issued a week ago um, said the deficit was going to reach in, in the current fiscal year about $1.1 trillion, a little below $1.1 trillion, and keep going up from there. That is, and, and that, that's just, that's uh, assuming nothing bad happens that requires additional money like a war or uh, another big hurricane or anything else like that. So we're talking about a deficit that's at least a trillion dollars every year for the next four or five years and could easily right. approach two trillion if the economy doesn't perform as expected. Stan Collender, John Riding talks about a run rate getting down to two and even 2.0 percent GDP. What's your GDP plug in that actually works for deficit dynamics? Well, if it gets much below about 3 percent, we're talking about deficits that rise and rise precipitously every year for the next couple of years. I mean, the, the administration is uh, planning and hoping and praying that, and promising that, that the growth rate will be 4, 4.1, even maybe even a little bit higher. And I don't know anybody other than the administration who thinks that's going to happen. So you, you see rates that, that 3 or three or below 3, and then you start to see deficits rising to $1.5 trillion. Right, but Stan, when it doesn't happen, will the administration recognize that it won't have, ha that, you know, that it's not happening, or will they just blame it on the Fed? Well, they'll blame it on the Fed to a certain extent, but uh, the, the better question, Francine, is whether or not um, it'll precipitate the administration sh uh, shifting gears and trying to do something about it. And the answer is almost certainly no. We know this is a president based on Bob Woodward, Woodward's book that thinks printing money is okay. And, and if there's a split Congress like there's likely to be at the end of the next, after the next election, there's really not going to be any place for, the, for a compromise with the spending cuts and tax increases. 